Hey everybody, it's Mentor Jeweler Joel McFadden and I'm in the studio today and I'm working on the cross that we're donating to our local church. Um, we've copied one of the stained glass windows and here we're building it. But the interesting part of this cross for my fellow jewelers out there is I'm using, I'm surrounding the circle with one millimeter amethysts. And that's pretty small. And we're using a setting call, style called a pinpoint setting, which is a rather common in prefabricated pieces, but it's perfect for this. This particular pinpoint style is called five bead. But I gotta tell you, working with these little teeny tiny stones is a little challenging because they are really small. But I'm going to give everybody an insider's view how I set these little uh, amethysts. So we cast this with the pinpoint settings already in place. And the first thing I'm going to do was we're going to talk about my drill bits. There was a discussion about drill bits. I use the small drill bits with the standard size shank on them because they're stronger. They're a little more expensive, but I find them to be very, very useful. But one of the first things I actually do is with my fingers, I just take the drill bit and put it in a pile hole and twist it a couple times with my fingers. And what this is doing is just cleaning it out slightly. And believe it or not, you're just turning it a couple of times because this drill bit is just slightly larger than the pilot hole that is cast in the piece. So if you're working with a rough casting and you just want to clean up a pilot hole, I mean, you can do it this way. Now you could chuck it up in your drill, your flex shaft and work on it. But I, honestly, I find it, I just want to clean out that little bit of lemel, the little bit of metal in there that is left over from the casting. And it's a good way of just making a shiny little surface. Now, how do I get the dust, this is a great tip. This is a makeup brush for, I guess, your eye your eyelids. But this brush is fantastic for brushing the little debris from where I've been cutting the seats here. It's just fantastic for that because it's very, very, very soft. The next step is I'm going to use a straight sided setting burr, a straight wall setting burr, that's just slightly smaller than my stones. And I am gonna put this in the flex shaft. And again, I just wanna clean up my seats slightly. And, and one of the problems with these amethysts is that they're not ideal cut. So they've got pretty thick girdles. I'm also using amethysts that have multiple different colors because that sort of matches the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean out three of these spaces. And you can see the metal shavings or lemel is the technical term rising up there. So we're trying to get this seats opened up and we just wanna just clean the seat out and make sure that the depth is right. And we, we're gonna be pulling some lemel up. The next thing I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a um, setting style burr. And I'm gonna do a little undercut to the outside. So what we're gonna do is drop this burr in, and this is the same size as my stones. So we're just gonna drop it and then do the undercut to the outside. I just want to be consistent with a little bit of an undercut. We're just do two or three at a time. So right here we're just going to do three. And again, we're going to come in with our little brush and just get any residual metal out of the way. All right, pro tip. 
these are tiny, tiny stones. If you'll notice, my lap pan, this pan is clean. I have just a handful of tools in there, but I sweep it out before I ever do work like this. I sweep this out because otherwise, if I drop one of these stones, I'm never going to find it. And I look at jewelers all the time who have dirty lap pans and they obviously don't set stones like I do every day. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this stone, which is a little tricky because these things are just so small. And then we're going to bring it over to the mounting and we're going to drop it in. I know you probably can't even see it. We're going to drop it in like that and then try to get it going the right way with the tweezers. But we're trying to undercut this to one side. And you'll see in the graphics what I mean. But here's another thing. This is a piece of beeswax. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gently touch the top of that stone with the beeswax. And you'll see the stone will stick to it. Now I can manipulate the stone fairly easily. And I don't have to worry too much about it jumping around. So we're going to just put the stone in there. Now this is a brass pusher. I'm going to take this little tool. And we're just going to gently push the stone into place. And it dropped right in. And that's exactly what I wanted. So now we've got our stone dropped right where we want it. And what we want to do now is push the pinpoints over the top. But you just want to do it very gently, just a little bit. So I'm going to take this flat graver. I mean uh, square graver which means that the tip of the graver is square. And I'm just going to just nudge it slightly. I know you can't even see this, but we'll try to cover it in the graphics. Nudge each of the four pinpoints, just like they were prongs, just a little bit, so that they're slightly over the girdle of the stone. We just want to cover the girdle slightly. And you don't want to push hard, and you've got to go one, 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 and move. Because if you push one, try to push one all the way, it'll push the stone out of place. You want to keep the stone level. So once we get those moved, the next step is we're going to take just a beading tool. And this is just a, a piece of steel with a little concave hole in the bottom of it. And then we're going to push that drop it on top of each one of these little pinpoints and just push down. Not hard, very gently. And that's going to shape the pinpoint and secure the stone. And when you do this, don't rock it too hard on top of the stone because you could actually damage the stone. But you're just trying to make a nice shape to your little pinpoint. And this should be just slightly larger than the pinpoints. It's basically like taking a, a cup and pushing it on some sand at the beach. Making a nice little bead. And then we've got a little bead in between here. We'll just very gently rock it and that will shine everything up. And that's how we're going to set all of these stones. So there you go. A little primer on pinpoint setting and the piece I'm doing for the church. And some little tips on working with tiny, tiny stones. The beeswax is really a big help because it will hold the stone. You don't want to push it too hard. But when you've got these tiny, tiny stones, this really is, is a lifesaver. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.